Okay. So in the last part, we were able to retrieve this list uh, statically, but what if we want to iterate this list dynamically? So to iterate it dynamically, uh, we come back here. Okay. So uh, we will have to use an inbuilt method that React has called as a fetch. That fetch method, in this, if you pass the URL along with the method that you want to get, you will get the answer. However, the thing is that uh, in the movie data, if you are passing the, let's say, movie list, okay. So what I was thinking is that uh, I'll like let's convert this function into a class and have a method like in this. We had the state. But state can only be used if the component is a class based component. Okay. There are two types of component. There is a class based and there is a function based component. The state method is used only when the component is a class based. Now app.js is basically a function based component. So let's just convert this to a class based. The thing is simple. We don't need to like make any, any certain change. The first change is to import the component. Okay. Once we have done that. The thing is, uh, just create an app component and this, whatever was there in our return, just cut it and replace this return with what we had initially and just delete this function app part. Okay, so that's it. We have converted the function based component into a class based component. Now the thing was, what I was telling is that what if I maintain the list of movies and I will populate this as soon as the page will get loaded. Okay. So to load this in runtime, there is a function of component grid mount. So we will use that. So component grid mount. And we will say let's use the fetch method. So fetch will pass on the URL. So let's say if this is the URL for get. We are just passing this. We are putting that there as well as we have to also specify the method which we will be using. So we will be using the get method and what if we have got the method to so resp and let's just console dot log and resp. What if there is an error? So catch error console dot log error. Okay. If everything goes well, we will have our answer. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Oh, just a minute. The typecast expression is accepted to be in the wrapped parenthesis. Okay, okay, okay. I think I need some help. Okay, okay, we forgot the comma. Sorry for that. And in the methods, uh, okay, I forgot the braces. So, so like uh, enclose them in the curly brackets. So after we have got, let's just see whether we are able to console it or not. Lots of red lines. Okay, the first thing that we are uh, facing is that each child should have a unique key. So let's just solve that. We will just uh, each and every part we will solve it. So. The thing is that we need to enclose each and every value through a key. So let's why not just place the Okay, why not just keep the key as the value that we are getting and is it is it unique for now? We will replace this. Okay. So let's see whether that, that, that error is replaced. Okay, that error is gone. Now second is H2 cannot appear in the child. Oh, okay, no worries. So it's basically uh, pointing that uh, why not just and close it in a div tag rather than uh, making it in a h2 and inside h2. So you have two options either to go for a div or react.fragment both can be used um, interchangeably. Okay. The third error that we are getting is the course error. That thing is most prominent. Like how to solve this I will explain it as well. Uh, just a minute. Okay. We still have time. Okay. So to solve the course error, you don't need to remember anything. The only thing that you remember is that to search and browse. <laughs> that's, that's really, that's it. You don't need to do anything. Course header Django. And you will get uh, either this or a, I specifically use this GitHub file. So we have to uh, disconnect the server for a bit. Okay. 
we need to install one thing called as a course header for that just copy this command just copy this just paste this and wait for it to load after it's done so in the installed apps you need to insert the course header so to do that just go in the movie list uh, not movie list i think the sublime where we had the django part in the settings you have the option of installed apps just copy this just paste the okay sorry okay there you go okay so course header is being installed in our dish uh, let's see that if we have something more okay so there are these two things that we need to copy okay we copy this we come here we paste this okay i think is is there something more okay yeah there are two more things uh, as the local host of react is running in port 3000 and django is running in the 8000 you need to allow them in the like to the django should allow react to access its url for that we should uh, like use the course white origin in this it's your choice when we are hosting this we will insert its url in this as well for now we are keeping it open to the react port so once everything is done we need to again start our server python manage.py run server it will take us time initially okay so it's running and now in the react app uh okay just a minute if we uh, initialize the like do it one more time and just see that whether we now we are able to access or not in the console we are not getting the error as well as we, we have locked this certain thing so we are getting something it's not what we need because uh here in the not here in the movie list we have in the app.js we have locked this response but this response is not be expected we expected something like this where it should be in a, like a beautified manner so to do that <clears throat> the thing is simple just we need to change this to res.json after which there is one more then then like you know we converted this resp to resp.json and now this resp if we console dot log and if we do now we will get something what we expected that uh, this is our uri that these are the two movies that our uh, front end is fetching from the back end that's drf or django rest framework okay so now it's working fine so why not just populate this movies with what we have got over here so this can be done by just remove this and there is a function called the set state so this dot set state in this uh, the movies so movie has to be populated with rest so once we have done our movie is now populated now we need to pass this movie in our movie list so we need to pass a component from parent to child so how to do that the thing is really simple we will not pass the original thing okay so i don't know how much long is this video this video is already eight minutes I'll just first explain you how to pass some random object from parent to child and in the next video we will pass the actual movie in the next object. So how to do that? Let's say I'm naming it anything. It, it could it can be anything. Okay, I'm naming it data and okay, the data is now let's say that uh, the data is uh, I am okay, 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 just a minute. I am data. Okay, so this is my data and I'm passing in movie list. In the movie list apart from this if we want let's say that i'm making it a h3 okay and in h3 if i want to access what i just pass in data i can pass using props now this is props is an inbuilt method that's been declared in react you can use this now this dot props dot data if i'm saving this if i'm coming back i can see that there is a something called im data and this is being loaded from the components that we created this is how you pass the random component okay now let's just pass our movie that we just made <clears throat> to pass this movie we can write this dot state dot movie so now we have passed the original movie 
in this now we are coming back we are deleting this the prop dot data and now in this dot state dot movie where we are actually in this movie why not just change this to this dot prop dot and let's say rename this part it's not needed but for better understanding if this dot prop dot movie and if i'm doing the same thing okay uh i don't know what's happening okay okay it's back cannot read property of oh sorry 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 this dot props save okay okay sorry 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 one last time sorry the x is basically an object so in x you can see that we have certain things there is id there is a title there is a genre there is a description there are stars so what we are thinking is for key let's just name x dot id and for display let's just print x dot title if you are seeing if, if you are like saving this thing you can see that now we have extraction now we have avatar this thing is now loaded from our api that we had just created the extraction and the api avatar these are two movies if we add some another movie let's say i am posting this and if i am naming some other movie let's say 3 idiots now what was it something about so it was a a uh, comedy movie in uh, relating to engineering uh, i'll give it a four stars and what was it like it was a sci-fi it, it it was a sci-fi so it was in the uh, comedy genre and if i'm sending my post request you can see my request is being sent now in here if i just refresh this page uh, you can see the three that is also being added so that's how this thing works i hope you enjoyed this in the next part we will make something in which if you are clicking on any one of this you will get a detailed description of that movie including the genre description stars and everything okay that will be done in the next part okay bye bye